Hello and welcome, my name is Clown, and the game I'm talking about today is called Wish. Now, Wish lets me know something very important right off the, the bat, and that's there's probably going to be a lot of shit that they're going to try to cram down my throat in terms of story. And the problem with that is that at the time when I was playing this game, I really wasn't feeling good. I don't ever feel good, and I was feeling especially bad. So I decided uh, I'm going to skip all the dialogue, so if there's... And I hope to god I didn't miss anything important. I fucking doubt I did. Honestly, for the most part, this just seems like a you adventure through the realm to just fuck women. And this seems to be about it. So I'm going to go ahead and hope that the story is very inconsequential and doesn't matter. And that all I need to worry about is the fact that there is a game in front of me and uh, scenes to be grinded over, sadly. Now we begin this story with a fucking anime opening, uh, not actually, it's just like a collection of all the animations that you're gonna see while you're fighting the girls and in their little visual novel sections before you actually fight them, which are the, they're all the parts I skipped, so I only got like a half a second glimpse at like some of them. Uh, you know, it's a song, it's fine, it's no supersonic racing, but it gets the job done. Anyways, I get into the game, skip all the dialogue, and start beating women. So basically how this works, it's a match three. We've all played match threes. You match three, and even more than three. The game's a fucking liar. You can match, I think, even up to like, what, five or six? The game's fucking lying to you. That's the whole point. Either way, honestly, I do really enjoy match three. It's just fun, especially when they have like a lot of effects going on and you know, you see, you know, you see the damage starting to stack up and you see the girl because they have like the girl on the side and you can see it's like, oh, 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 and it's, it's really, I don't know, it, it just, it gets my, it gets my brain going. I don't know. It's really fun to just move shit around and sometimes it's even more fun when you just start trying to speed through speed run these things and just start matching everything as fast as you can and you just keep racking up damage and uh you know eventually you win you get a little bit of money and then you you kind of realize you're like wait i only got enough money for like one upgrade and there's like eight things i can upgrade on top of items both consumable and passive on top of skills meaning this is fucking bullshit because that's right I had to grind, and that's the least fun thing you'll ever fucking do in a porn game, dude, or in a hentai game. I don't want to have to try, okay? I don't want to have to try. And this is around the point where, actually, oh, okay, okay, I'm actually very heavily exaggerating because it wasn't really that bad. Like, sure, it got a little bit annoying anytime you died. I, I feel like that's just, that's just a little bit of baby gamer rage in me that was uh, taking over there and... You know, when I died, I was like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? I have to do this shit all over again. But then it's like, oh no, then you go fucking kill them. Uh, but it wasn't until you reached the cat girl, right? There's this cat girl, right? And if you know, you know, you don't know me, but I love cat girls. I just love monster girls in general. This girl's a fucking bitch, dude. You have a certain amount of turns that you can use in her whole gimmick. Because they all have a gimmick. Most of them aren't that bad. But her gimmick is that she just continually fucking increases the amount of turns it takes to complete a turn basically you have at the time i had like maybe like 40 turns and she would basically double the amount of uh turns each time so i had to you know if i went one turn it would be two it would count up by two the counter would go up by two or even three so in essence she basically like halved my turns and i just could not do enough damage and at this point i got fucking pissed off i was i was roided up i was mad okay I wanted a fucking, well, okay, it, weirdly enough, I've never thought about throwing my mouse or keyboard ever. They're just too expensive. I've thrown my controllers around, but you know, I wanted to smack my desk, but not, not, I didn't actually want to do that. I'm kidding. I'm not that petty. Uh, I realized something. I learned how to have fun, right? I came across the God combo because I feel like I've, I've seen this with every match three game that I played. There's always items that you can use that swap one type of piece on the board for a different one and there's two items that do that in this game and so when you use them in tandem you just fucking blow up the board and oh my god i had the mo I, I swear to god i was fucking like laughing to myself when i was playing this game like earlier i was looking back at my footage and i saw the point where i i, I called it the fucking the base cannon right And 
yes, that is, you know, just blatantly ripping off that old Dark Souls video. But it's it's the base canon of this game because as soon as you click both of those, it like replaces a bunch of pieces on the board for different ones and only leaves attack pieces. And it just goes like because it's a fucking, you know, it's not the most well-made thing so the the sound goes crazy so you just get like this big blow up I'm, I'm probably gonna put it up on the screen and it just murders everything it murdered every fucking boss it was amazing and after that i absolutely loved the gameplay however another thing that i absolutely loved which is the whole point of this video is the actual hentai was fucking great too, honestly. It did, okay, all right, all right. It kind of pissed, this game peeves me in so many fucking ways, right? Starting off with the the dialogue before the match where you have to, even if you skip, you'll take like a couple of seconds until you can actually get into the match. The menu just kind of sucks dick. It looks bad. Well, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't suck dick. It just does not, it doesn't look that great. And there's spelling errors all over the place. It's kind of fun. That's actually kind of funny. But the thing that kind of pissed me off the most is that I, I sort of got I, I, any any hentai game developers out there. Just it is super annoying when you have to fill up like a heart meter in order to actually be able to see like the full blown scene. Because once you you have to challenge them, I think four times. You have to be each girl four times in order to unlock their their hentai scenes or whatever. And the first one that you unlock, it's like one of those where, you know, you have like a hand and a tongue and you have to just click everywhere. And then like, you know, and most of the time it's just like, dude, I just can Can we just get to the real shit? And it takes like a, like a minute or two, or maybe three, maybe four to get through this whole portion of it. And then you can actually go to like the real shit where they're actually really good. It also has like this little weird mini game with your mouse. I can't really show it too well. But where you, you literally just move your mouse left and right and like keep up with the rhythm and you know you make make them make them nut uh, uh yes whatever i didn't really like it too much but it didn't really do much it was like all right that's cool uh but the the quality of all the art here was really nice i did actually really like it it wasn't too stiff or anything and i didn't even mention i didn't even touch on this but i like basically all the girls they all look really good except for the dark skinned girl with the pink hair and the twin tails i fucking hated her which is all the worst because she has one of the better of the scenes where she's like ah you can't make me calm and it's just like <laughs> you just go nuts and it kind of sucks that she has the best one because i fucking hate her dude i try to skip her but you can't skip and that made me kind of fucking sad. But uh, yeah, honestly, thumbs up. Forgot how much this game costs. So it, you know, even feels even better because I bought this game a long ass time ago and I didn't play it until a couple days ago. It was a really good time, honestly. Uh, apart for when it fucking wasn't, it felt like bullshit. So if I have any, any advice to anyone who buys this game, definitely go for that one. The two items, the one that changes all of the healing items to attack items to physical attack. And the one that changes all of the mana pieces to magic attack pieces. It's going to be fucking epic. You're going to literally bully all the bosses and it's going to be amazing. You're going to get to your uh, hentai scene really fast and you're not going to spend as much time as I did banging my balls on a brick. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a pretty good game for the most part. And I'll see you guys next time because I actually have like two more games that I haven't talked about that I need to talk about. Have a nice day.